PeachTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Petey from Peach Tools. How are we all going today? Another beautiful day on my side of the world. Hey, I'm going to tell you a little secret now, guys. Uh, don't do this at home because I'm no electrician and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And if you electrocute yourself, nothing to do with me. I'm just showing you what I do. So be advised, guys. So what's the old get going on about today? Well, have you ever wanted to bend something like this, but you don't have an oxyacetylene set, you know, a gas thing to heat it up and bend it? Now, I've always wanted to do it with my plasma torch, but I can't, because look what happens when you try and do it with your plasma torch. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And be warned, this is just what Pete does. I don't recommend anyone else does it because I don't know what it's going to do to your machine or your torch or electrocute yourself or anything silly like that. Anyway, enough crap, let's get into it. Yeah! Anyway, guys, I don't know if you're anything like me and every now and then I want to bend something up where it's not supposed to be and all the rest of it and you just can't do it without gas. So it really pissed me off the other day. So I thought to myself, I thought to myself, let's figure out a way to do it with the plasma torch. Anyway, this is what happens if you don't do this modification. So I just got my standard PT31 plasma torch that a lot of you guys use, it's cheap, it's the standard um, cutting nozzles in this, just standard electrode, standard tip. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and heat up this crescent and see if I can bend it. But chances are it's just going to cut it, or it'll make that much of a bloody mess of it, we won't be able to use it for anything. Let's have a go. Now I'm holding it on the angle away from me guys so we don't try and cut straight through it, so we'll see how we go. Trying to cut through it already. Trying to cut right through it. You guys have probably done this yourself and it just doesn't work, eh? Let me zoom in on that and show you. See that, guys? It's just bloody cutting it and making a bloody mess of it. It won't hit it, it's just going to cut right through it and it's going to ruin a perfectly good bloody ring spanner. But anyway, so that's not what we need to do. So I come up with a little modification, guys. Here, I'll show you how that works. So guys, what you need for this is just standard electrodes and tips, but I wouldn't use a good one. If you've got a buggered one lying around somewhere, grab that. I've got a buggered one here. See that, guys? It's buggered, it's burned out. And I've also got a burned out electrode here. So we'll use them, and you're going to need your original swirl ring unless you haven't got another one. So like I say, I don't recommend you do this, I'm just showing you what I do. So we'll take the good electrodes and tip out, and we'll use that later. What you're going to have to do with this, guys, is cut about, sure, probably cut it in half, just whack it in half. Trouble is, if you stick it in the vise, because it's quite soft, it'll crush the bottom of it. So what I've been doing is using a pair of pliers to hold it and then try and cut it. So the object of the exercise, guys, is not to crush this little circle thing on the bottom, otherwise you won't put it back in your torch. It's quite tricky to cut, but if you use the pliers and just be careful and use an angle grinder or something, you should be able to whack it in half. And watch your hands, guys, because it'll be friggin' hot. I've burnt myself on <laughs> several times. See how that's on a bit of a funny angle? What we want to do is try and straighten it up a little bit. I've tried it in the vice, and I've buggered several of these tips because it's just too soft.
Now we want something that looks like that, guys. So if we could poke a screwdriver in the back of it or something and knock all that shit out of it. What's a little burn between friends? Knock it through like so. See, now we've got a dirty, ugly big hole in there. And if you can, clean up the outside of it. And watch your fingers because they're quite sharp. you got a little bit of sandpaper lying around, guys. Just take the burrs off the edges of it. For some reason, it just makes it spark a bit better. I don't know why. And also, you don't cut your bloody fingers on it. There we go. So we've got something that looks like this, guys. <laughs> then what we want is to get a buggered electrode. Something that's seen better days. We can use a new one if you want, but why waste a new one? Like I say, I'm tight ass. So get a bucket electrode, and then we need a swirl ring like so. So we just put it back together as normal. Put your swirl ring on, don't forget your swirl ring. Put your nozzle on that we modified. Put the top on it. And you end up with something that looks like this. Yeehaw! Right, so let's have a go this time, see if it actually works. guys I don't recommend you do that at home but anyway as you can see it works and it didn't cut the ring spanner I decided to put my gloves on guys it's friggin hot if you ever look at the first one we did here guys it's just cutting the friggin thing to pieces that's still hot this and um, yeah so we couldn't actually bend it so what we need to do was heat it like I just showed you there and now we'll take the other one out of the voice. <laughs> Fucking hot. Ooh, see I'm smoking smoky in the beer. I think I'll leave that for a minute guys, it's ready hot. The other end too, I'm starting to stick there because the smell was so burning. I went and dropped it into some water guys because I burnt myself three times on the bloody thing. But as you can see, Works fine, bent it perfectly. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with this ring spinner now. Undo nuts around corners, I suppose. As you can see here, guys, it's just taken the uh, the surface off the metal, but by no means has it cut into it at all, if you can see that. And the other side is perfect, guys. So, yeah. So if you're in a bind, <laughs> like I say, I wouldn't recommend it, but that's what Pete does. Yeah. Like I say guys, I wouldn't recommend it. That's just what I do. If I get stuck, I haven't got the old oxycetylene, I just um, whip the top off an old plasma cutter tip and uh, get into it. Seems to work okay, eh? Because it takes quite a bit of heat to bend that without cutting it. And uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, same as usual guys. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. And that's enough bullshit from Pete this week. And we'll see you next time, eh? Bye-bye. Peach tools dot com dot com dot com